and treats. But who'll get the task and who'll get the treat? Well, guys, it is now time for your first unlucky dip. Ooh, bring on the sweets. Here they come. Now, in this bag are five sweets. Three of the sweets will turn your tongues blue. That means you're going to be doing a task. Uh-oh. Uh -uh. The other two are clear, and if you end up with a clear tongue, that means you're doing the first treat of the day. Get your eyes closed. Who gets a task in round one is down to bad luck. But in rounds two and three, the group can decide their own fate. You suck. So, will Jessica, Rachel, Daniel, Khalil and Miami get the task one, or get the treat? Two, three. three. Jessica gets the first treat, along with... Khalil. Take a look at each other. Yes! Who else has got the clear tongue? OK, guys, you know who's doing the task, who's doing the treat. Abs, it's our turn. What do we do with these? You suck! Enjoy your task, mate. Jessica, Khalil, let's go and have our treat. Come on, it's going to be a good one. See you later, loser! One of me, two of these, an apple on me head, in front of a target board, it can only mean one thing. Archery! Let's go meet an expert. Cool. You didn't really think I was going to let them fire at this. Now, welcome to the first task. It's quite a tough one, and as you might be able to tell by my face, it's a little bit scary, because each of our taskers has got to hold one of these. Ah! Yep, yeah, it's a real-life spider. They're going to have to let it crawl on their hand. Ooh, there he goes. And as you can see, I've passed the task, but will they? Now, guys, we've got our safety gear on, but it's time to meet our expert, Debbie. She's a coach in archery, and we have to listen very carefully because safety is paramount. Debbie, please take it away. Right. Well, this is what you're going to do. You put the arrow on the string. You'll have the odd colour feathers towards you. I want you to extend your arm, one finger above and two below. All right? And then I want you to pull it back Ooh. and release. Okay. Is that okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. yes. I was pleased I wasn't doing a task because the task might be really horrible. Okay, let's have our first treat then, please, Debbie. Okay. Here we are then, Daniel, at your first task. How are you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> Sick. Good. Would you like me to tell you what it is? Okay then. Okay, first of all, I need you to lay your hands out flat. Like that. Daniel's already gone in here because he thinks he's the brave one. And obviously he is. Here it comes. What we want you to do is hold on to this spider here. And you have to hold on to it for 30 seconds. I've got a stopwatch here. You ready to go? If you don't hold on to the spider, then I'm afraid you failed the task. 30 seconds starts now. So 15 seconds, Daniel. Halfway there. Doing really well, mate. Three, two, one. Your time's up. Well done. How was that? Scary. Mm. Scariest thing I've ever done. The good news is you've passed the task, so well done. Right. You can stand facing me. Put your fingers up in the string. One finger above, two below. Pull, 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 pull. Let go when you're ready. And we've missed. Pull, 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 Wheel of spin, remember keep them coming in. You... Come on, there they are. Thank you very much. Number eight. Now, this one has been sent in 
from Anna in Chesterfield. Hello to you. This is please dedicate best of friends to everyone in the school play at Hasland Hall. It's our third and final night tonight. Good luck especially to Anna, Hannah, Alex and Charlie. Here it is because you're best of friends. Here it is. Welcome to Best of Friends with me, Rani. And me, Abs. You're the best thing about being mates. What's that? Is I don't have any complaints about you. Do you yeah. have any about me? Well, not really, apart from the way you stay on the chips, um, the way your hair looks, your earrings that kind of annoy me, your hairy legs. <laughs> Three tasks. Three treats. One's down to luck. The rest is their choice. Will they play fair? Will they play dirty? Will they still be the best of friends? We're the girls from Mattersfield, and we're the best of friends. Yeah! Cash is a little Miss Glam. She likes to get some fancy clothes on and go out and party. She's dance club diva type. Jenna is a bit too bouncy, even though she has a good laugh but she takes a joke too far. Katie is always the leader, so I always know what to do when I'm around her. Shannon's a bit like a goldfish, because she forgets everything, but she's always a laugh. Amy's my best friend, um, because she's really kind and generous, but she can also be really stroppy if um, she gets upset in any way, and she just goes off in a little tip or whatever. Then there's the time where you used to pick your nose and flick it at me. Oh, and when you used to stand on my feet, but apart from that, nothing really. Yay. Let's meet the team. OK. Hiya, guys. Hi. Hi. Feeling good? Looking good. Oh, <laughs> they certainly are. OK, first in line, we have Shannon. I've heard she's a really good impression of a goldfish. <laughs> Is it true, girls? Yeah. Come on, let's see. Let's see your impression of a goldfish. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that was beautiful, wasn't it? Was. It? it was great. All right, Amy, tell us a story about Stanley. He went to pee on me when I was taking him into school. <laughs> Who's Stanley? It's my guinea pig. And he peed on you? Yeah. All down the front? Um, yes. <laughs> that, that's very nice. Hope you've changed your clothes. Now, Tasha, I think you're quite weird. You like the texture of canned tomatoes. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes are yak. So if we got you to sit in a bath of tomatoes today, would you be happy or unhappy? Unhappy. OK. okay well, we'll see if we can avoid that. Okay, Jenna, I've got a massive secret about you. Can I tell everyone? Yeah. Are you sure? Definitely. Apparently, you really love to get all your schoolwork done. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true about her? Do you, have you ever noticed she says, oh, I'm not doing my schoolwork, and then all of a sudden, it appears. And do you copy her yeah. schoolwork? Has she always got the best schoolwork to copy? Yeah. It's a good friend to have, yeah, then. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I think we should form the first circle of friendship. Here we go, then, guys. Here we come. Preparation for the first of our three tasks. We're the best of friends! Woo! OK, then, ladies. That means it's time for your first unlucky dip. Bring on the sweets. In this bag, there are five sweets. Now, three of the sweets in there will turn your tongues blue, which means you're going to end up with a tart, <laughs> which is not a good thing. However, if your tongue doesn't turn blue, then you're going to be doing a treat, and that's good. Get ready to pick your sweets. So who'll get the first task? And who'll get the treat? You suck! Will Jenna, Tasha, Amy, Katie or Shannon get the task or treat? One, two, three. Jenna gets the treat, but Tasha gets the task along with Katie and Shannon. Girls, take a look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you know what you're doing, let's find out who's coming with you. Let's get on the second lot of sweets. I've got mine. Got mine. OK, what do we do now? You suck! One, two...
parenting course help the families improve their lives. Shine. This week, the parents learn about discipline. But after years of doing it their way, how easy is it to change? Walsall in the West Midlands and home to the Hunt family. It's tea time and six-year-old Reese has spilled a drink. This is a typical evening. Mum Sue is left picking up the pieces after husband Simon loses his temper. Reese has gone into hiding upstairs. I can handle Reese 99% of the time. What I can't seem to handle very well is when Simon's around and Reese and him clash. And I don't see you using anything like that on your sister again and I wrap it around your friggin' head. Do you understand? I was brought up that I was seen and not heard. I did as I was told. And I left home when I was 16. I joined the army. So I've always had that ordered environment. And I think I do try to impose that on the kids. Will you please get your pyjamas on? Yeah. Move it now. I don't think I'm a good parent at all, actually. To me, it seems as though I'm just struggling all the time to achieve anything. I've often thought that the kids would be better off if I wasn't here. Tell you what, Reese, you get your pyjamas on now, right, or I'm going to smack your ass. End of story. I'll get my pyjamas on. Don't piss me about something, because I'm really not in the mood. I feel torn in half, if you like. I want to be supportive of Simon, but I want to be there for Reese as well, and I feel that I can't do both. And dearly love to be the kids could see me as a friend as opposed to, you know, Daddy who shouts all the time. Is it Daddy? Is it Daddy? Mm -hmm. The Hunts need the help of this parenting course run by international child expert Professor Matt Sanders. They've joined four other families also struggling to control their children. Last time, the parents were taught to praise their children for good behaviour. A good boy for helping me, thank you. Thank you, Owen, for playing nicely while Mummy was talking on the phone. Don't kick. Don't this week, kick. they've got an even tougher challenge. Oi. Oi. Stop it. What to do when their children behave badly. Ow! Anger. Welcome back, everyone, to week three. Um, in a lot of ways, this is the week that many of you have been waiting for. You've told me that you've been waiting for this because it has to do with dealing with the times where our kids are being difficult. They're not cooperating. And so session three is about managing misbehavior. It's really the D session. It has to do with dealing with discipline issues. In a lot of ways, First, the parents the must examine how they react to their children's naughty behavior. And here's the evidence. Aaron. Did you just hear what I said? You're doing Dad, it on Kevin, purpose. Five-year-old Aaron Wall likes being the centre of attention at home. This time, he's mucking around with his food, so Dad Gary takes away his yoghurt. But the discipline hasn't worked. Aaron's still the centre of attention. No! Come on, out! No! No! Move! Now! Okay, let's just pause it there. So he's behind the... He's behind the kitchen table, and I've told him to get out, and he wouldn't. Okay. So, I mean, if going and hiding behind the table is actually no big deal, then that's the kind of behaviour that you could probably completely ignore. Sometimes there are battles that are worth having with kids, and other times they're simply not. Oh, God, will you stop throwing things at me? OK, I tell you, what's going to make you stop? Jesus Christ, Angus! 
This is life at home for oh, Paula Harris. Jesus. No, gee, Angie. Trying to manage her son, Angus, no. who has a hyperactivity disorder. Uh, hee ha! Ow! <laughs> I did! Sorry! Sorry, Mum! Mummy! No, Mum! 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 <laughs> OK, let's just, let's just pause it there. So, sort of thinking back in, in, into that sort of situation, what do you think you'd need to do differently? I was on the brink of either going nuts or just crying because I'd had so okay. many things thrown at my head yeah. um, over about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and he'd just done so much damage in his room. I just okay. thought, I'm going to go out and shut the door and just blank it on the couch to one, one minute. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in there. Okay. <laughs> One minute, that was it. No, there wasn't any ages. No, it was like one minute, Angus. <laughs>